The main theme in markets this week has been the rise in US bond yields to multi-year highs as strong US data continue to support a surging US dollar. This was also helped by upbeat and optimistic Fed outlook. With China on holidays for Golden Week, trade tensions took a back seat early in the week as we began with the focus returning to Europe and Italy's budget predicament. Economic head of Italy's Liga party, Claudio Borghi, was quoted as saying, I'm truly convinced that Italy would solve most of its problems if it had its own currency. This was later clarified by officials and leaving the euro is not in the government's plans. However, with markets already jittery, the damage was done to the euro. Broad US dollar strength continued midweek with undeniably strong data flow, including a 21 year high in services ISM data, underscoring the exceptional resilience of the US growth story. Fed Chair Powell spoke and outlined a remarkably positive outlook and combined with improved risk appetite, US bond yields moved to multi-year highs and the US dollar staged an impressive rally. Closer to home, the local data and news flow continued to highlight the Australian housing slowdown with the volatile dwelling approval series falling a sharp 9.4% in the month of August as high-rise approvals plunged. The RBA left rates unchanged on Tuesday at 1.5% as unanimously expected. The RBA described the outlook for household consumption as a continuing source of uncertainty. Although they retain a positive outlook for the labour market, expecting the unemployment rate to decline further to around 5%. Regarding the Australian dollar, the RBA repeated their wording from the last month that on a trade weighted basis, the Aussie dollar has remained in a range over the last two years, but it has depreciated against the US dollar along with most other currencies. Well, this was certainly an apt description as the Aussie dollar fell through 71 cents to trade around 70.80, the lowest level since February 2016. Lastly, intrigue was raised late in the week with stories of Chinese industrial espionage, which refocused the market on trade tensions and caused notable weakness amongst technology stocks. All up then, with this surging US dollar backdrop and renewed focus on US-China relationships, the Australian and Kiwi dollars have been the worst performing G10 currencies this week, both down over 2%. With the market factoring in a more optimistic Fed outlook, although still not yet pricing as many hikes as the Fed's median dot forecast for 2019, there seems further yield fueled US dollar upside. At levels below 72.50, the Australian dollar is under our estimates of fair value, and certainly the commodity backdrop remains supportive, with Australia's export price basket holding near six-month highs. Yet, with Australian bond yields sitting at record levels of inversion below the US, and the resurgent US dollar outlook, it looks like the Aussie dollar could remain cheap for some time yet. We'll be back to talk to you next week.